and presentation skills are essential to conveying your message online. You want to be looking at the camera and feeling that you're connecting with the audience, even though they can't see you. It's going to seem strange at first, but with a little practice you can get used to it. We're going to look at two examples of online presence, Darian Murph presenting about asynchronous communication and Dominic Slauson talking about Canvas Studio. Let's take a look. Is your life dictated by nonstop pinging and buzzing, running from one notification to the next? If so, it's time to stop the madness by embracing asynchronous communication. I'm Darren, head of remote at GitLab, one of the world's largest 100% remote organizations. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the art of embracing async and how you can implement it in your workplace. So let's start with what is asynchronous communication? So in a fully remote setting where team members are empowered to live and work where they're most fulfilled, mastering async is vital to avoiding dysfunction and enjoying outsized efficiencies. And increasingly, operating async is necessary even in co-located companies which have team members on various floors or offices, especially when multiple offices are involved. So let's talk about implementing async workflows. So with Darren's first clip, we saw really great online presence, really great connection with the audience. And then in that second clip, he seemed to lose it. He looked away, he seemed to be reading from some paper that was off screen, and he just didn't seem connected with us. Let's take a look and see how Dominic does. Hey everybody, Dominic here. And in this video, I wanna introduce you to Canvas Studio and talk about some of the best practices with utilizing Canvas Studio and video in general in your courses. So Canvas Studio is the video recording platform that we have available to us in Canvas. And all faculty and all students at CBTC have access to use Canvas Studio. We can provide a lot of the same types of instruction that we would provide if we were in a face-to-face -face class. That's pretty beneficial. Um, now, when you're doing this, I highly recommend that you keep your videos under 15 minutes. And to be honest, I would actually make them even shorter than that, maybe under nine minutes or so. Dominic has great online presence. After watching his full video, I felt like I knew him. You can get there too. It just takes a little bit of practice, look at the camera, focus on the audience, make sure you've practiced your talk and know the material well so you don't have to look off screen. Watch our other videos for more tips.